Hi angels, welcome back to my channel. This week we're gonna be talking about something that has been going super viral. It's basically a base technique for your base layer like foundation, blush, highlight, contour, all of that good stuff. But it's kind of done in like a reverse way. Um, Mary Phillips, who is a celebrity MUA, has kind of made it really prominent right now in this moment. But it's essentially underpainting. It's not a new concept. It's been around for a while. And a lot of other celebrity MUAs utilize this technique. Personally, I have never done this technique on myself before or on a client. So I am very excited to try this out. I'm definitely open to trying out new techniques and especially if it's a celeb MUA who does our favorite celebs who are always snatched, i.e. Kim, um, Kendall, JLo, all of these really glowy makeup icons. Here are some photos of the work that Mary Phillips has done on our fave celebs and I mean, she kills it over and over again. So of course we're gonna be testing it out. So if you wanna see how it goes, then go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so I've already spot concealed and color corrected because I can't really go without color correcting. So for my spot concealer, I use the NARS Soft Matte Concealer and then for my under eyes to color correct and around my mouth, I use the Liquid VO2 by Visanti. You guys have seen me do this before, so it's nothing new. That's why I'm like, I don't even need to show it. Oh, one new thing though that I did use um, as my base, I use the Say, um, and I don't even, is this how you pronounce it? Is it Say? I don't even know. Anyway, Say um, Glowy Super Gel in Star Glow. So this was going viral and I am the type who gets influenced. So <laughs> I had to try it out and it looks really glowy on the skin. But beneath that, I applied one of my favorites for pore filling primer. So this is the Smashbox, the original photo finish primer. Love this one. We're just grabbing my Huda Beauty Tantor in the shade medium and I'm grabbing a MAC 237 brush. I am gonna start off by painting on my contour and this, I already filmed like a shorter version of this video on um, for like IG Reels and TikTok. And it feels illegal to be doing this. Like nothing on, but we're going to contour. Okay, wild. Um, this technique has, it's nothing new, but it's new to me because I've never actually tried it on my face. So we're doing my lip contour like I normally would. And then we're going to take it right here. So I'm thinking that when we get to the foundation stage, um, I'm gonna use a lighter coverage foundation so that we can actually see through to what we did versus if I use a full coverage foundation, I don't think we're gonna be seeing any of the hard work that we put in. <laughs> so I'm just swiping this all on. And I feel like for this, it's really important to have a nice base, which is why I went ahead and primed my face with all of those amazing products. I always do it regardless, to be honest, but I feel like your base is really crucial to get a really beautiful finish ultimately for your makeup. Let me just add a little bit more on the cheekies. <laughs> okay, guys. Do we feel like I'm looking crazy yet? Okay, so we're starting to blend this. <laughs> it's a little bit crazy. Okay, blending this as well. I gotta hold my sideburns on the side because, you know, it's a must. Okay, so blending here is just gonna look the same as blending always looks like usual suspects. Um, but I did wanna just take a second to talk about um, just goals for the new year so of course a lot of people set goals it's a, it's a usual practice when the new year comes around and we all reflect on our last goals from the year and see how far we've come and etc so and we learn from it but i was just saying to my friends that you know i feel like the year flew by and i didn't really take enough time to reflect and it's really crazy because we work our butts off for the year and we have fun doing it we're working towards our goals and then we finally get that thing that we were praying for and working towards for such a long time and then all of a sudden we're like okay next thing like hello so i have really been wanting to focus on that mindfulness piece and i'm all i've always been all about that but i feel like towards the end of last year i kind of just i don't know i just started getting caught up in everything like just focusing on what's the next thing and it's not usually I'm not usually that type I'm usually in the moment so I kind of caught myself slipping and sometimes in airplane mode which I definitely do not want to be in I want to be present 
I want to be present with my family and my friends and with myself, most importantly, with myself. Um, so yeah, I was just thinking that I will definitely be prioritizing that this year, just like the reflection aspect and all of that. And I just thought I'd talk about it with you guys because I'm really into a lot of being mindful and mindset manifestation, affirmations, like all that stuff I think is really important and it's very game changing. Okay, let me just go back on track here. I'm just going to blend out a little bit, but I'm not going to blend out too much because I don't want it to disappear. So it's still looking harsh and that's okay. Up next, we're going in with concealer. I'm using my Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer and this is in the shade Praline. And then I'm using my Jouer Concealer in the shade Wheat. So this is a brightening shade and this is closer to my skin tone. So I'm going to pop the Faux Filter on first, just in the stash area. I call this de-stashing. And then I'm going to put a little bit up here and then I'm going to put like a dot here just to help neutralize my brightening color. So we're going in now switching over to Jouer and I'm going to go in like so. So I realized since I'm not putting any concealer on after, then I want the coverage that I want. So I'm going to put a good amount since my foundation is going to be light coverage. But the way that Mary Phillips was doing it, um, she was doing cream products and she was doing a lot less. And I do honestly feel a lot of these techniques, as you know, I have textured skin and I have acne scarring and stuff like that. A lot of these techniques I find um, are really for people that have perfect skin to begin with. And <laughs> it's just not everyone though, right? Like I don't have perfect skin. I do, I do think my skin improved a lot over the years and I love my skin. I'm grateful for all of those changes as it got better and it's glowy and everything like that but i just do think some of these these minimalistic makeup looks look really good on people that just have perfect skin not a blemish not a scar not a no pores like naturally right and some people are just blessed with that and some others have to work a little harder like i my skincare routine has to be on point and i do not miss a day but anyway okay so we could see <laughs> She's getting pretty bright and I've been really loving a bright under eye lately. If you follow me on IG, then you know this. So we're just going in, blending all the way up. Okay, so now we're kind of coming up to the point where we're going to put on some blush and then comes the foundation. I am going to be using one of my favorites, if not the most glowiest cream blush that I own. This is the Huda Beauty Cheeky Tint Blush in the shade Proud Pink. And I'm using my Huda Beauty Cheek Color Brush for the application of this. And it just looks so gorgeous. I love this so much. The glow that it gives your skin is unlike any other blush that I own. Like really genuinely, it's unlike any other brush. <laughs> it's unlike any other blush I own. So definitely love it, especially being applied with this brush in particular. Really nice. You could apply it directly to the skin or like I'm doing right now directly onto the brush or onto your hand and then the brush. There's many ways to do it. Um, but I love the finish. Just look at the finish. And again, it's okay if things are looking harsh right now because we're going to be blending everything together and marrying that together afterwards. So I'm kind of just going rough. Like everything is looking really rough right now for a reason. I'm just going to go in with my beauty blender just to diffuse a little bit. And now it's time for the moment of truth foundation. So for my foundation, I'm choosing a more natural finish type foundation, not a full coverage, but this is one of my favorites. This is the Armani Luminous Silk. Everyone has heard about this because it is iconic and I'm in the shade 8.75. I think this is my shade. It might be a little bit deeper for me. We're about to find that out right now, actually. This, this foundation in particular has been a journey with me trying to find my proper shade and I'm just using the Anissa Pinnacle Brush. So I'm going to just lightly dab on my foundation like so that majority of the coverage goes in the areas that I'm placing it if you know what I mean and then now we're going to blend okay oh my goodness okay so you can see it's a little warm for me that's okay coverage is very light um or it's like a medium coverage and it's a little it's buildable for sure this brush is a dream to work with so we're just blending everything out. If I put foundation on top of my uh, blush like too much, then it will 
definitely diffuse it a lot, but I'm still doing it because we're, we want to get the full feel of this, this way of under, under, underpainting. Okay. Skin is looking glowy and natural, even though we did a number of different steps. All I used was one pump of the product too, by the way, and that's all we needed. I am not going to lie to you. I really like how my skin looks. Okay. I'm using my beauty blender. Same thing that I are not adding any product. I'm just going to blend out the under eye just to help enhance and marry together that, that foundation with the under eye. There you go. It's looking a little bit better after doing that. I did not take my foundation up on the under eyes because normally I would never put foundation under there either way. Cause I'm not trying to layer too much product. We already have our color corrector and concealer there. But I'm liking it. I think it looks really natural and pretty. What do you guys think? I don't think all of our hard work was for no reason. I think it actually paid off and we can see it shining through. And I feel like a foundation like the Armani Luminous Silk really just makes, first of all, the Armani Luminous Silk in any situation just makes your skin look so stunning. But in this particular situation, it's working really well with this technique. And I'm here for it. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and then I'm gonna come back and then we'll have kind of our final results. Okay, I am back. Here is the skin. I surprisingly really, really like how everything looks. It's a lot more natural looking than my normal situation would be. And what I mean by natural, it's less coverage than normal. And also that's accredited to the foundation that I use, but I feel like you also feel like you don't need as much coverage when your contour and your concealer is already on in the first place. So I do really like this underpainting technique. It's very, very pretty. And I did put on some glowy blush so you can see my texture. And you know what? I don't care. I have texture on my skin and it's just a part of my skin. And I, I love it. I love the way it turned out. And I've gotten used to embracing my natural skin as I get older. And I've talked about this before. It, it used to be something that I wasn't always the happiest about. Um, like one of my biggest insecurities. And now I'm just like, this is my skin. I love myself, live it up. Like ju you just have to embrace yourself because you have one body and this is you. So you might as well love yourself. And when you're introduced to techniques like this and your skin looks so pretty, you got to, but try it out guys. Let me know what you think. I'm really interested to know if people would just use this on a daily because I definitely think it makes things easier in terms of, let's say you do your contour on top of your foundation and you keep, you just, no matter how much you blend, you keep seeing it and you're like, oh, it keeps looking harsh. This helps smooth everything out. So I think beginners would actually like this technique um, because in order to blend a contour on top of your foundation and all the liquid blush and, and it's very full coverage too, it just gets to be a lot to blend out and it can turn into like a mishmash on the face and it can also become muddy. So this kind of prevented all of that stuff from happening. So yeah, I recommend giving it a try before prejudging it for sure. And guys, don't forget to like and subscribe because I post every single week and I'm going to post my most recent video right here for you guys to check out. I will see you guys next week.